Sup, hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good. I'm basically over what I had, the sinus infection. You may hear it a little bit in my voice and stuff like that. I still have a little bit of allergies, but I am feeling loads better. I do appreciate everybody who reached out and checked on me. I am doing better, and I hope no one else is getting sick or anything like that. It's it's one thing to have like time off and be at the house. It's a whole other thing to be just sick on like the couch or something like that, just dying, just having like a heat stroke in the middle of like a air-conditioned house because you can't get cool or anything like that. So I hope no one's going through that. It can't be as horrible as the suds. Let's talk about something that happens quite a bit in hobbies, Pokemon especially, but uh, it's not a bad thing necessarily, but we're going to talk about giveaways for a second. Now, people will do giveaways and give away lots of different stuff for many different reasons. Some people want people to come check out their page. Some people want to incentivize more people to follow. And then, of course, some people, of course, want to actually give away stuff because it's the nice thing to do. Hey, I see you stroking my content a good little bit. You're giving the good old reach around right there. I do appreciate everybody doing that. Hey, let's give away some a box or something like that or a card or, hey, maybe I'll make something something it's a good thing sometimes and people actually give away some stuff out of the kindness for their hearts and it's dope right but unfortunately good things are not always good and some people take advantage of the giveaway system some people will do that and we have a good example of that today where someone just basically doesn't quite follow through with what they say they were going to do false advertises a little bit of stuff and uses the giveaway market in order to try to buy some followers and views and i think you're going to like this one i think you're going to like this a lot follow me let's check out the giveaway cycle that can happen here when did this turn into beautiful world? When did this turn into the most gorgeous girl in Brazil? $18,500 giveaway. Uh, let's go. Uh, no, this is not a trailer for a straight to DVD purge sequel. In five seconds, you will experience anarchy. No, this is a guy doing an $18,500 giveaway right there. Man, flexing and balling. He just wants to show his appreciation for the 5,000 followers he's gotten. The angel wings on the background, a nice touch because what an angelic thing that's going on here. Giving away product for the people. What could be more noble and what could be more just selfless than that act? Let's keep watching. I'm sure this doesn't get worse. Yo, what's up, everybody? Um, today, I just got back from the Pokey Shop, and I'm going to go ahead and give away a booster box base set. For anybody who follows me and shares this video, I'm picking the giveaway for the people who share the video though. So come on y'all, don't be shy. Like this video up, it's time for another giveaway. Let's go. Yo, the call of the hype beast, let's go. Oh yeah, you can just hear the hype bees running down the stairs, coming out, getting out of their computer, ready to share the video. You can hear that stuff happening, which it's a base set booster box, right? I can kind of actually understand that. That's pretty good if this giveaway was actually going as it was supposed to, right? I mean, it's pretty easy too. All you got to do is like, subscribe, hit the bell, hit the notification buttons, give them a fucking back massage, give them a butt massage, go do their taxes, be the big spoon in bed whenever they have a bad dream. Pretty normal stuff, right, for a giveaway. That's all you got to do. All, all that stuff just to enter for a base set booster box. Well, so what happened here? What went wrong? This sounds pretty good. And he, they, all you got to do is share the video. And based on who shares the video, they're going to pick who actually gets the stuff. Well, what if I told you that it didn't matter who shared the video? It didn't matter what happened after this stuff. It, do, it doesn't matter what anybody did because the homie already had somebody he wanted to give this box to. Give this box to. I'm going to say give this box to because I have a theory on that too. We'll, we'll get to that here in a second. But check this out right here. So here we are in the magical land of Captain Pokey's comment section. You would expect to find happy patrons and people that are excited to see who won this box, right? But uh, what is a uh, comment saying right here? Oh, his sister won. His sister won. That's kind of weird. What, did she share the video the best? What, did she do the best TikTok sharing of that stuff? She had to have, right? Or the number generator must have just, you know, picked her randomly, right? Or something like that. Now, some people are going to say there's nothing wrong with him picking his sister, which I would disagree with. Now, People are going to be like, it's family. There's nothing better than sharing with family. They're going to go on the whole Vin Diesel speech on me right there. And like, look, I agree. There is nothing wrong with sharing your hobby, your passion, and Pokemon with your family and people that you like being around. The The problem here is, is this dude did a whole ass spectacle on TikTok, a 5,000 follower giveaway, right? They all dropped the balloons, had people jumping out of cakes and all that stuff. And then the $18,500 giveaway, right? Dude, the whole thing was plastered. He already bought his following. This is his most like TikTok. He has it pinned right up there at the very fucking top, right, dude? He bought his following just for him to give the box, give the box to his sister. This is wrong for two reasons. One, the sister actually does benefit from this giveaway by being directly related, and there's no way to really prove that the box wasn't just given to her. And in, in which case, if he wanted to just give her the box... He shouldn't have done this giveaway post. He should have just gave her the box and been like, here you go, sister. Thanks for believing in my content. I really do appreciate that. 
instead of doing this whole spectacle where it's basically like I faked a giveaway, right? And then two, I mean, what's to say she even got the box, right? What's to say that like, you know, mom went to bed and now Captain Pokey sneaks into, you know, sister's room, gives her a wedgie and takes the box back and like no one knows that shit, right? Ah! Ah! Smell you later! There's just too many things about them being related, and he does deny it at all. Like, this isn't even something that's, like, up for debate. Right there in the comment section, he straight up admits to doing it. He straight up is like, yeah, my sister what? I gave it to my sister. I bet I did. What, you salty, bro? You salty you didn't get this $18,500 giveaway? Yeah, bro, people are salty. That is not how it was advertised at all. And honestly, you shouldn't have been giving it to your sister in the first place. You wanted to give your sister a box. You wanted to, you know, keep it in the family and all that stuff. You wanted to have a godfather-type trade of that stuff. You should have literally just gave it to your sister instead of doing this whole thing now you're making giveaways and all this stuff look bad i mean they already kind of have a bad name in pokemon there's like half the people that can't even give away stuff correctly or send out things and now this shit right here on tiktok it's like it's great it's fucking fantastic dude but this story does not end here oh no 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 but wait there's more hang on to your seat baby that guy who likes anime yes he is still scamming people and that's why i decided to make my video now the scammer POS is this guy, Captain.Poke, and he used to go by Pokemon.OnGod. Weird that you would change your name. I mean, you'd think you'd want uh, people to be able to find you and the account that you did the base set box giveaway on. Yep, so something this big can't just stay local. It's got to go everywhere. So this is actually PokeRob. I think I know them as RoboSkills on Instagram is what I think I know them as. Go feel free to check them out. Good stuff. I appreciate putting in this video. Thank you so much. That's a good point to talk about. But everybody's talking about this guy now, right? Basically how this whole thing has transpired and the dude's a scammer. He used to go by Pokemon on God, which is real funny because on God is what he was saying when he was caught scamming. He's on God. I sent that stuff on God. I swear I sent it. I swear I did. And then he changed to uh, Captain Pokey. Yeah, real weird that you don't want to be found, right? Real weird that you just got to change your name all of a sudden when, you know, when Stepsister won that box, right? And that's why I made this talk off of this guy's comment. Uh, this comment is on the Major Nerds video. If you haven't watched it yet, I would suggest clicking there, watching that whole video. He does a beautiful job uh, exposing this guy. Basically pointing out how this was a repurposed video. This guy never owned this base set box and uh, he was just duping the Poke Talk community. So basically this video right here goes on further saying this is a repurposed giveaway, which is something we already knew. That it was never something that was going to be given away regularly. It was going to be something that was handed out in the family. Kept in the family. Family kept secret, right? Now, at this point though, they also add that the box isn't theirs. I can't prove or deny that. I don't know 100%. But that is very interesting that maybe the store that they are promoting right there, maybe they just borrowed the box from them. Maybe they never gave it away, period. It just adds another layer to that giveaway, right? Basically buying your following without actually paying the money, right? Now, it gets even crazier than that. Check this shit out. Then this guy decides to come into my live stream and threaten me and other people of the PokéTalk community. That's a big no-no. I love these physical threats, man. If you ever see me, you're bashing my face in. Oh, I'm sure TikTok's gonna love that. I'm gonna make a part two because this is just so much to cover, but I'll leave it in the comment of this video so you don't gotta go hunt for it. But just be careful of this. <laughs> Oh, Captain Pokey, you're feeling a little strong today, aren't you? You had your spinach, you had a good workout, you had a good little swole going. Got a little bit of the injection between the toes, I see. Feeling real good about that stuff. Man, you talk shit about some people, and right there, they're just going to come bash your face in. Guess that's what the purge mask is for. He's already masked up, going to grab a spike baseball bat Mad Max style and just come in there and start swinging, right? You talk crap about people, you talk about them for stuff that they're legitimately doing, and they turn into gangsters all of a sudden, like they act like they've been on the street the entire time. When you can tell by looking at this dude right here, not one goddamn day. I'm more gangster than this dude right here, and I'm a fucking nerd. These dudes right here will not do a damn thing. Like, he's talking all this stuff. Yeah, go to Collecticon and start some stuff, man. You know where Robo's going to be. You know he's going to be there, but you're not going to do a damn thing if you see him in person because, of course, that's what these people do. They act like bullies, and they do the whole bully thing when they get caught, and then, you know, nothing's going to happen, right? It's just real funny threatening them with the, the good old violence, right? The good old family friendly, the family. Keep it in the family, give my box to my family. 5,000 follower family. Gonna give it the $18,500 family. That, that, that's the guy that's gonna do that stuff. He's gonna come in and bust that stuff. He said it right there. Sure enough, right there, him typing that stuff out. He admitted to, you know, not doing the giveaway properly. He admitted to wanting to come do some physical violence. And I mean, straight up, what else is he going to admit to? What is he going to admit there? Future giveaways right there. People don't even trust him. They're just like, oh, is your family going to win this stuff too? 
And he's like, no, I wouldn't do that back to back. And it's like, well, you shouldn't have done it, you know, back. You shouldn't have done it the first time, dude. And of course, that's just, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get on a, a tangent. I'm going to lose my voice again and all that stuff. It's just goofy. I want to show you this stuff right here. Captain Pokey, you are a loser. You are somebody who does not need to be in the Pokemon community, straight up. Scamming and all that stuff. Ain't happening, Cuff, and I'm sure I'm sure you'll get what's coming to you, man. You got something to say? The comment section's always open. Say what you want. Other than that, hope you're having a good night. Hope you're having a great one, Virgin. So I hope you're uh, not getting sick like me. And I appreciate everything that y'all do. Appreciate all the time you give to my videos. It's been blowing up lately, and I really do appreciate that. Thanks, guys. It's uh, it's real. And hope you're having a good night. See you later, Virgins.